Hello everyone. Welcome to DevOps and AWS series. In this video, we will discuss what is version controlling system and what is source code management. In this DevOps series, as part of version controlling system, we are going to learn Git. And for source code management, we are going to learn GitHub. Let me explain you what is version controlling system and what is source code management. To understand it better, let me go through an example. For example, if you are working for a project, there will be different types of developers. Let's look into this example. I have four developers. Two of them are backend developers. One is a UI developer and the other one is a database developer. So these two people start writing the backend code, whereas this person is started writing a UI code. Now the person called A has created a file, written his backend code and kept in his laptop. Likewise, everyone will create their own files and keep in their local machines. Now I want to combine everyone's code. I don't want the individual code. I want to combine their code because it is a web project. I need the UI code, backend code, database code. Everything has to be integrated and combined at one place. Now what should I do? The simple way is I have to ask one of the person to take a lead and collect others code. For example, if I consider a person has the lead, I'll ask a person to take D code through a pen drive and keep it and integrate and in the same way take the code from B person through a pen drive and keep it in the same way a person has to take the code from C and keep it here is that looking good no that is not the correct way it is a time consuming process as well that is not the correct way then what should we do is yes. now what we will do is we will take one central location I will ask each and every developer of my project to connect to this central place and ask them to keep their code here for example, if a person has created a file and written his code, once it is done, this person is going to place his code here. In the same way, if B person has completed his code, then he will place his code here. In the same way, C has completed his code, so he will put it here. Now my issue is solved. All the developer's code is placed at one central place. Now a person has created one file and kept it here. Now D wants to work on the same file. In this case, D no need to connect with A and ask for the code because A code is already present here. So D will take the code from here, do the modification, whatever he needs and then put it back here. Now again, A want to work on the same file. So again, A will take the code from here, modify the changes and put it back here. Like this, we are going to maintain one central place. This is nothing but source code management. We are managing the source code. There are different source code management tools available in the market. As part of our DevOps series, we are going to learn one of the popular source code management tool called GitHub. So now you understood what is source code management, right? Now, what is this version controlling system? As part of this development life cycle, these developers are doing so many changes and placing it here. At one point of time, one of the developer has disturbed the code. The functionality which is working fine is not working now. I want to track it. This is one of the example. In this case, what if I can track the history? What if I have a mechanism to track the history? Whenever this person is going to place his code, I want to track it. I want to track the changes, whatever he has done with a version number and what are the changes he has done and what are the changes before he has done the changes. Like this, I want to track. In the same way, I want to track everyone's changes. Let me explain you one small example. For example, for the first time, if this person is going to place his changes here, then our version controlling system will maintain a version ID for this changes and it also maintains who has done the change. Now, let me explain it with an example. For example, he has written one file. He will move the changes here. Now, my version controlling system has tracked his changes with one version ID and it also has what are the changes he made and what was the changes before he made the changes. Now it also has a record of what the changes he has made. If the D person is going to take the same file and going to modify it and put it here. In this case, it will generate another version ID and maintains a record of that. It also has a record of what are the changes he has done? What are the changes before he has done the modification? Everything is tracked. That version controlling is done by version controlling system. As part of our course, we are going to learn Git, which is one of the popular version controlling system. Now you got some idea, right? Now let me explain something more about this GitHub. This GitHub is one of the source code management tool. It is also a distributed source code management. What is this distributed source code management means? This person is residing in New York. This person is residing in Singapore. 
this person is residing in london this person is residing in india now these people are in different places but i want a central place for them that central place should not be dependent to anybody that should be a remote location and should be accessed by everyone this is a distributed source code management which is a remote location it is not on anyone's local mission coming back to version controlling system whenever this person has moved the changes here it has maintained a version id and whenever this person has modified the same file it has created another version id even though this person is in different location and even though this person is residing in different location and as they are using different local missions whatever the version id created by our version controlling system will be unique a version id created for one person will not be generated for any other person in this world this is decent like that how beautiful it is right now you got some idea right where does this source code management resides in a remote location where this version controlling system resides in each and every developer's local mission now let us go and create one github user account for this you just type github so here you are able to see few options sign up sign in i'm going to click on sign up you just give a user id so it is saying that the username is not available means someone has already used this name let me use a unique name so here it is showing as a green color so it means that no one has used this name this username should be unique like how we have gmail unique ids right like that now i'm going to give a email id now i have given my email id and i'm going to set one password for this i have given a password email preferences it is going to ask here if you enable this option github will keep sending you email notification about the new updates next here i have to verify you want to verify account so for that we have to solve a puzzle just click on this verify we have to just adjust this in a proper way click on done it is just checking that we are not a robot next select a plan so here there are paid version and free version if you are going to use it for a testing purpose then you can go for a free account so i'm going to choose this free account these are the differences if you are going to choose a free tier account if you are going to choose a paid account then you are going to get these options so it is there are no much differences other than securities and few more things i'll explain you each and every point of this in our further classes here in the free tier account we are going to get unlimited public repositories unlimited private repositories limited to three collaborators for private repositories like this what is this public repository private repository collaborators you don't need to worry i'll discuss them in our further classes so that's it i'm going to choose this free account just click on this choose free now it is going to ask about few more details if you want to give you can give this these are optional just it is asking how much programming experience do you have none i have a moderate account a lot whatever you want you can choose it so like this you can just click on this a lot i'm choosing now what do you plan to use github for you can choose a appropriate option here i'm going to choose this we are going to learn right so i'm going to choose this option learn git and github if you don't like to give these options at the end you have one option called as skip this step you can select this so anyways i already selected right let me click on this complete setup that's it i created my github account but to use this i have to validate my email id whenever you clicked on complete setup this github has sent you one email to your email id now you have to go to inbox of your email id and click on the verify button of that email i am just going to my email inbox open the email id what i received and click on verify email address option now once i click on verify email address option i am able to access my github see here i am able to create one repository i said right this is central repository here i am going to create one repository that is i am going to name it as post repository that's it whether it is a public repository or a private repository for now i am choosing it as a public in later videos i will explain what is this public and private for now i am going to choose as public then i am going to select this option initialize this repository with a readme it means if you select this your repository will be created with one readme file what is this readme file also i'll explain in further videos if you don't select this check box then a empty repository will be created for you i don't want to create a empty repository so let me enable this check box so my repository will be created with one sample file now i'm going to click on this create repository that's it guys my first github repository has been created
Now I have to connect to this repository from my local laptop and I have to move few files from my local repository to this remote repository, which is created on GitHub, which is a source code management system. And after that, I have to take the files from this remote repository to my local system. How to do this? We will see this in our next video. That's it for this session. Thank you guys.